Hello guys, welcome to DIY and fix it. Today's video I'm going to inspect this generator as you can see the generator has been shut down itself and the warning lamp is blinking, let's see what could be the problem. Follow me till the end. Okay, I'm going to reset the events let's see what caused this generator to shut down itself. Unexpected engine shutdown, which means the generator set control did not control the engine shutdown. The GSC detected that engine speed dropped from rated speed to 0 RPM when the GSC has not called for a shutdown. The GSC has determined that there is no engine speed sensor fault that would explain the engine shutdown. The engine is disabled from running or starting and you will see at the Eden's log unexpected engine shutdown. In this case we're gonna reset the event and trying to start the engine whether it can start if the engine failed to start definitely we are going to check the voltage on fuel cut solenoid and confirm there is 12 volts. Now I'm going to crank and let's see if it starts. The engine failed to start. Let's check what could be the problem. I need to take my test light plus multimeter to check the voltage at the fuel cut solenoid. Forgot to turn on the prime pump so that I can check the voltage at fuel cut solenoid. When the prime pump is running at the same time fuel cut solenoid engages. There we go, the pump is on. Now we're gonna inspect the power at fuel cut solenoid. You can use multimeter or this test light. Remove the solenoid connectors carefully they should not contact with themselves. There is no power at all. At the fuel cut solenoid. There might be problem with the ground. Let's connect the test light somewhere have a good contact to check the ground or negative side of the circuits. There is no 12 volts at the fuel cut solenoid. Now I'm going to check the power at the fuel control relay. The fuel control relay is behind the GSC. We need to unscrew these screws to check the relay. Wow, this 5-pin relay connector is out. I think it is out because of engine's vibration which mean the connector is loose not holding well, and I don't have the same 5-pin connector for now I'm going to use a zip tie so that we can start the engine I will replace the relay connector later. Okay, now we are going to check the voltage to prove this was the problem. We are going to run the prime pump again and then we'll proceed to measures the voltage at the fuel cut solenoid. There is, my test light lighted, 
now we are sure there was power interruption. Let me check the voltage by multimeter. Twelve point twenty DC volts, which is very okay, that is what we want now. I'm going to start the engine. If this video helped you up. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell to get notified when I'm posting a new DIY video.